and all of my pre-healthcare brothers and sisters. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Today we're continuing on with the ATIT's question of view series and we're going to be discussing algebra. Question 1. 12 minus x over 4 is equal to 8. Solve the equation above. Which of the following is correct? Is a x is equal to 6, b x is equal to 8, c x is equal to 12, or d, x is equal to 16. The correct answer is d, x is equal to 16. We have to isolate the variable x on one side of the equation. We first subtract the number of 12 from both sides. So we have negative x over 4 is equal to 8 minus 12, which will give us negative 4. But we need to further isolate x, right? So negative 4 times negative 4 is equal to 16, giving us x is equal to 16. The absolute value of x plus 2 is greater than 4. Solve the inequality above. Which of the following is correct? Is it a, x is greater than 2, or x is less than negative 6? b, x is greater than 4, or x is greater than negative 6? c, x is greater than 6, or d, x is less than 8? And the correct answer is a, x is greater than 2, or x is less than negative 6. So in order to get the inequality, the absolute value of x plus 2 is greater than 4. This tells us that the quality x plus 2 lies more than 4 units away from 0 on the number line. So the value of x plus 2 could be greater than 4 or it could be less than 4. So we have to set up our two inequalities to solve for both possibilities. So we have x plus 2 is greater than 4 and x plus 2 is less than negative 4. For our first equation, x plus 2 is greater than 4, we minus 2 from both sides. That will leave us with x is greater than 2. For our other equation, we're going to also minus 2 from both sides, leaving us with x is less than negative 6. This gives us our solution, x is greater than 2, or x is less than negative 6. 4 parentheses x plus 7 is equal to 2 parentheses x plus 15. Solving the equation above, which of the following is correct? A, x is equal to 1. B, x is equal to 3. C, x is equal to 4. Or D, x is equal to 8. And the correct answer is A, x is equal to 1. We isolate the variable x on one side of the equation. First, we perform the multiplication on both sides of the equation. So, 4 times x is x, 4x. 4 times 7 is 28, so that gives us 4x plus 28. 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times 15 is equal to 30. That gives us our equation, 4x plus 28 is equal to 2x plus 30. We then subtract 28 from both sides. So that would leave us with 4x plus 28 minus 28 is equal to 2x plus 30 minus 28, giving us 4x is equal to 2x plus 2. Then we need to subtract 2x from both sides. So that will give us 4x minus 2x is equal to 2, giving us 2x is equal to 2. Then we need to further isolate that x, right? So we divide 2 from both sides. 2x is equal to 2, and then 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1, giving us our final answer of x is equal to 1. All right, parentheses, 2x squared plus 4x minus 7 minus, parentheses, 2x squared plus 3x minus 4. Simplify the expression above, which of the following is correct? Is it a, 2x plus 8, b, x minus 3, c, 7x minus 3, or d, 4x squared plus 1. And the correct answer is b, x minus 3. To simplify this expression, we have to combine like terms. So we have 2x squared minus 2x squared. That'll cancel each other out. That equals 0. Then we have 4x minus 3x. 4x minus 3x is just x, right? Positive x. Then we have negative, minus 7, I should say, minus negative 4. Well, a minus plus a negative is going to equal a positive, so that'll give us negative 7 plus 4. 
Well, negative 7 plus 4 is negative 3. So that'll give us our final answer of x minus 3, giving us the most simplified expression of x minus 3. Negative 4x minus 9 is greater than 3. Solve the inequality above. Which of the following is correct? Is it a, x is less than negative 3, b, x is greater than 2, c, x is less than 3, or d, x is greater than 4? And the correct answer is a, x is less than negative 3. To solve the inequality, we must isolate x on one side of the equation. To do this, we must first add 9 to both sides of the equation. By adding 9, we get minus 4x is greater than 12. But then we need to divide the equation by negative 4 to isolate the x. We divide negative 4 by 12, that gives us negative 3. Because we are dividing by a negative number, we must change the direction of the inequality sign, so that will further give us our last answer, which is x is less than negative 3. Parentheses 3x plus 2 is times by parentheses x plus 1. Simplify the expression above. Which of the following is correct? Is it a 4x plus 2, b 3x squared plus 2, c 3x squared plus 5x plus 2, or d 3x squared plus 6x plus 1? And the correct answer is c 3x squared plus 5x plus 2. The process of FOIL is used to multiply binomials, like we have above. First, we multiply the first two terms of each binomial. That would be 3x and x. When you multiply that, you get 3x squared. Then we multiply the outer two terms. That would be 3x plus 1. That gives us 3x. Then we multiply the inner two terms. 2 times x gives us 2x. And lastly, we multiply the last two terms. 2 times 1 is equal to 2. We can further simplify the expression by adding 3x and 2x together, giving us 5x, thus giving us our final answer of 3x squared plus 5x plus 2. Cassandra's height x is 3 inches greater than twice her brother's height y. Which of the following algebraic equation best represents this statement above? Is it a, x is equal to 3x plus y, b, x is equal to 2y plus 3, c, y is equal to 2x plus 3, or d, x is equal to 3y plus 2? And the correct answer is b, x is equal to 2y plus 3. We start with Cassandra's height, x, to set up the equation. x is equal to whatever our equation is, right? Cassandra's brother height is denoted by y. Cassandra's height is equal to 3 more than twice y, which is written as 2y plus 3. Adding to our equation, x is equal to 2y plus 3. The value of x is less than 3 fourths the value of y. Which of the following algebraic expressions correctly represents the sentence above? Is it a, x minus 5 is equal to 3 fourths y? b, y is equal to 3 fourths x plus 5, c, x is equal to 5 minus 3 divided by 4y, or d, x is equal to 3 fourths y minus 5. And the correct answer is d, x is equal to 3 fourths y minus 5. We start with our value x to equal our equation. x is equal to, we don't know. The question tells us that x is 5 less than 3 fourths, the value of y which can be written as 3 fourths y minus 5, further adding to our expression and giving us our final answer of x is equal to 3 fourths y minus 5. Parentheses 2x squared minus 3x plus 7 plus parentheses 3x squared plus 2x plus 6. Simplify the expression above. Which of the following is correct? Is it a? 5x squared minus x plus 13, b, 5x squared plus 5x minus 1, c, 6x squared plus x plus 13, or d, 6x squared plus 5x minus 1. And the correct answer is a, 5x squared minus x plus 13. We need to simplify the expression by combining like terms. So what do we have? 2x squared plus 3x squared is equal to 5x squared. 
minus 3x plus 2x is equal to negative x, and 7 plus 6 is equal to 13. Combining all of that together and simplifying our expression will give us 5x squared minus x plus 13. Moving on to our final question. The absolute value 9 minus x is equal to 4. Which of the following is the solution set for the equation above? Is it a 5 negative 13, b 5 13, c negative 5 13, or d negative 5 negative 13? And the correct answer is b 5 13. In this equation, the absolute value of 9 minus x is 4. This tells us that the quantity 9 minus x lies exactly 4 units away from 0 on the number line. So, 9 minus x could equal 4 or negative 4. We set up our two equations to solve for this possibility. We have 9 minus x is equal to 4. 9 minus x is equal to negative 4. We want to subtract 9 from both sides. On your first equation, 9 minus x is equal to 4. 4 minus 9 is equal to negative 5, but we still have that minus in front of the x. So when we have that minus, we pull it over, a minus and a minus equals a positive. That gives us 5, is, I'm sorry, x is equal to 5. With our other equation, 9 minus x is equal to negative 4. We subtract 9 from both sides. Negative 4 and negative 9 is equal to negative 13, and we still have that negative number, so we pull that negative x over. That would give us our positive number, a minus and a minus gives us a positive, equaling 13. So we know that the value of x is either 5 or 13, and we set that in a notation, which is written notation 5 and 13. I hope that these question review series are helpful in helping you pass the ATITs like a boss. Make sure that you follow me on my social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and of course here on YouTube. Make sure that you subscribe. And I highly recommend that you check out my website at nursechung.com where I have additional practice questions to help you get a little bit further in your studies. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. I love answering them. And until next time, I hope that y'all have a wonderful day and I will see you all again soon. Bye.